it's the unicorn here and today I have a natural makeup look for you guys natural I mean when I say natural obviously it means it's natural for me it might not be for some of you guys but hey y'all know that I love things that are like over the top so this is like no makeup for me <laughs> anyway Without further ado, let's get on with the video. First, I'm using a makeup base to help moisturize and create a pretty glow. Before anything else, I am not naked, I am wearing a top. And I'm just slathering that on my skin. As you can see, I have a huge zit on my forehead. <laughs> Next is my favorite step, foundation. This is the Deja Gla All-in-One Glow Foundation, and I'm going to blend it into my skin using a wet beauty sponge. When I first used this foundation, I have to say that I didn't really like it. But today, I just decided to give it a second chance, and I actually really, really, really like it. It's one of the most beautiful, natural foundations out in the market. So if you're one of those girls who wants a more lighter coverage, dewy foundation for the daytime, this is for you. Look at that glow, so pretty. But it does come off on your fingers if you touch your face. And of course, concealer is a must. I'm using this to cover up any scars, redness, or hyperpigmentation that I have. I'm also highlighting the high points of my face using a lighter concealer to bring forward my features. To bring some color back into my face, I'm using a dark concealer as a cream bronzer. Cream products tend to look a lot more natural most of the time. Ooh, and it's time for the brows. This is one of my secret tips for black hair. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> anyway, use a dried up mascara on your brows. This will fluff them up and define them, just like Cara Delevingne's. Then take a thin angled brush and the tiniest bit of black eyeshadow to add more detail. Since I'm feeling lazy, I'm just going to use a bronzer as eyeshadow. Today, instead of the glam winged shape that I always do, I'm going to round out the shape of my eyes. To do this, I'm using small, circular motions to blend the shadow, following the natural shape of my brow bone. I'm also blending the shadow on the lower outer corner. Then, take a small, angled brush, and with the same shade, concentrate the pigment on the outer corner of your lower lash line. This is going to make your eyes look more open and a little bit more innocent. With the same brush, define the corners of your lips and then pull them up into a slightly upturned shape. This is going to make you look like you're smiling naturally. If you have a resting bitch face like I do, trust me, do this, it will help. And don't forget to blend it out. This is probably the most exciting part of makeup, highlighter. This highlighter has a pinkish glow, and I know that my skin doesn't really have pink undertones, so you might be thinking, wouldn't it look a little weird if it doesn't match your skin tone? But in my opinion, I think the difference in the tones actually made the highlighter pop even more, and it makes you look like you have a light cast on your face all the time, like an ethereal being, which is really cool. Curl the lashes and add mascara to further open up the eyes. The mascara I'm using is the Push Up Angel Mascara from Maybelline, and the wand looks really, really weird, I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw it, I was like, what the F is this? But then I realized that this is one of the most easy to work with, precise wands out there in the market. So there's that. And also, I'm a huge sucker for waterproof Maybelline mascaras. For the lips, I'm going to start by defining the center and edges of the lips using a lip liner. I'm not lining all the way because this is a natural look. It's just the same as when you're sketching something. 
you don't use harsh lines on the whole sketch you only use really dark solid lines on the parts where you want to emphasize and on the parts that actually help with structuring the painting so that's what i'm doing here the corners the edges of my lips and the cupid's bow in the center then i'm feathering that out using my fingers Next, I'm adding a lip gloss to add some color and shine. Even when I'm doing a natural look, I had to do red lips because, come on, I mean, it's my signature. How could I not? For a fresh, natural looking flush, use a bright red lipstick. Now I know this might seem surprising, but spread it out as thinly as possible on the back of your hand and take a little bit using a sponge and blend it onto your cheeks. Because this is such a saturated color, it actually looks more natural. Et voila! That's the makeup done. All I have to do is my hair, change my outfit, and I'll be right back. And this is the final look. Looks like I have super glowy, really nice skin. And I think 80% of that is thanks to this foundation, which is the Douche Eclat, mind my pronunciation, Douche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. And I actually used this once before. I didn't like it then because my skin was like so dry. And now that my skin is in better condition, I absolutely love it. I just love it, love it, love it. The moment I dabbed it on my face was the moment I found love. So yeah, this guy is awesome. And also the highlighter that I used is from a, a really affordable brand in Korea. It's called Bia. I'm actually going to do a review of the whole range. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, if I try to talk more, things are gonna get awkward. So I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys learned something from this video, and if you didn't, I hope you guys at least really enjoyed the video. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. 再见。